Hey, what is up, YouTube? Demon Sparks here, and uh, today I just wanted to show a quick little overview um, on, and also a uh, little just quick tutorial on how to install this. Uh, this is running CHDK on uh, digital cameras, uh, which essentially unlocks just more features and more overall control of the camera, UI, etc. Um, so I already have the files loaded on here. You have to find your camera's firmware version. And as long as it's a supported camera, you'll be able to do this. Um, go ahead and uh, download the um, correct uh, full version for the uh, camera's firmware and install the uh, or drag and drop the files uh, to the root of the SD card. Um, you have to do this with the, uh, while it's outside the camera. You can't do it while it's connected through USB. Um, and you want to go ahead and switch over to your playback mode um, on your camera. I do have some issues with this camera for some reason. The switch, the, uh, switch uh, glitches a lot, and it, it swaps in between modes on its own for no reason. So you want to throw it up in playback mode, so the camera uh, lens is retract, and hit menu, and hit firmware update, and hit OK. Alright, so you seem to have got the uh, CHDK running, you want to switch over to your camera mode and you see you have more advanced uh, stuff on the screen. Um, let's see if I can be able to get this thing to focus. Well, I'm using my uh, Logitech webcam to shoot this, so it's a little bit different for me. So I have this in focus now. You have more stuff on the screen and you'd want to hit your uh, I forget which button they call it, it's um, this one on this camera is like a quick link and then you can hit menu and you'll have more of the advanced features and here you can set all different types of things whatever you want to change that's normally not allowed um, due to the camera settings or and stuff like that um, I found it pretty useful since you can uh, hard set the ISO to go higher or lower than the camera actually uh, normally allows and it seems to work quite well. And aside from that there's not a whole much lot that I've noticed different about this. Um, one, th one feature I do like is actually the uh, battery percentage indicator that's normally uh, not there. Um, actually there's no kind of icons like that at all. And that's pretty much about it. Just wanted to show you guys that. I thought it was pretty neat. And this is my power shot. Unfortunately, like I said, it does have uh, issues with the switch. Uh, for whatever reason, it swaps back and forth like it just did by just barely touching it. I mean, I've pinged on it a couple times, and like you just saw, it'll switch back and forth. So there's some kind of an issue with this switch. I haven't exactly got around to... Uh, doing anything much with it. You can see the battery up top is glitching a bit too, it was just raising and lowering. But the program is really cool, it's got some great features and I want to show you guys uh, how it worked and pretty much how simple it is to actually get it working. So I hope you guys enjoyed and like and subscribe!